Electronic Evidence Examiner provides multiple possibilities for investigating different types of forensic evidence. This includes hard drive images, email databases, internet browser data, cloud data, mobile devices, and much more. This video will show you some of the most interesting features of Electronic Evidence Examiner. Part 1. Hard Drive Forensics When analyzing a disk image, you can begin with viewing the structure of the data stored in it. Navigate through the folder tree displayed in the case content pane to the left. When a folder is selected, its contents is displayed in the data view pane to the right. Here you can see the list of subfolders and files stored in the selected folder along with their attributes. Some files might contain alternate data streams. These are displayed as separate entities in the list. The text and hex viewer can be used for analyzing binary file content both for original files and alternate data streams. To view the contents of the archive, double-click and navigate to the data. Along with the original files and their attributes, Electronic Evidence Examiner provides access to deleted files. The Recycle Bin folder displays to the actual contents of the Recycle Bin. Though the names of the files are changed, you can view their contents in the corresponding viewers. The Trash folder is a service folder created by Electronic Evidence Examiner. When the option is selected, it contains all recovered files and folders. You can use filters to find required files by their name, or extension. The Unallocated Space folder, is another service folder containing data carved from the unallocated space. Data is divided into subfolders in 1000 item increments. You can also use filters to find files of a required type, or matching other criteria. You can use the Document Viewer to preview different files. Sorting allows files to be put into categories, according to their file type. The file type is defined by a signature, not an extension, and allows you to detect files whose names and extensions were deliberately changed to hide their contents. Sorted Files Search filters out files to make analysis easier. MD5, or parts of the file name, are the main parameters here. If a certain type of file cannot be previewed in the embedded E3 viewers, you can use the open with function to open the file in an external viewer. The image analyzer function allows for the sorting of graphic files by categories, according to their contents. For example the currency category contains any images with banknotes and coins on them. For any sorted graphic files you can use the thumbnails viewer to easily bookmark multiple files. For better navigation, bookmarks can be sorted into user-created tags. Bookmarks are displayed in the Bookmark pane. To make investigations easier, you can choose to place all deleted files in a separate folder, where they will be sorted by the same categories as the original files. You can navigate to the original location of the sorted file of interest, and preview its contents. Another data analysis option is keywords indexing. Once all words in the evidence are indexed, you can use the keywords search to find necessary data quickly. You can use Boolean search for constructing complex search expressions both in the keyword and advanced searches. Search results can be bookmarked and tagged. Data triage is specifically designed to allow investigators quick access to the most important parts of the evidence system disk. For example, the downloads folder contains data downloaded from the internet to a default location. The recently used files category displays the list of files recently accessed by the user. Near each file you can see who exactly accessed it. The list contains not only the files that are still accessible, but also those that were moved or deleted. The registry node in data triage allows for advanced investigation of the Windows registry. The full registry node provides access to all available registry keys. 
other nodes provide access to selected keys for quicker navigation. Some keys, for example those containing dates, include the decoded data value displayed along with their original value. The Timelines category includes data from registry keys parsed and organized as timelines. The Summary Timeline provides the list of all parsed values, sorted by date. Part 2. Email Databases and Internet Browser Data Email databases can be investigated as separate evidence, or as a part of other embedded evidence. The list of all email databases, detected in the disk image, can be viewed and investigated from the data triage node, or from their original location. Embedded evidence, of the supported format, has a special mark near it. Double-click such evidence, and navigate to its parsed contents. Email messages in the parsed email database are displayed in the corresponding folders. For example, open the inbox folder to access the incoming emails. Email messages are displayed in a special email data viewer where you can see all email attributes and a message body. The list of attachments is displayed in a separate tab of the viewer, and each attachment can be viewed in E3 viewers as a common binary file. The advanced search includes multiple parameters for searching in email databases. They allow you to find emails received from a specific sender, sent to specific receivers, limit time intervals, or define where exactly the search expression is to be found. Search results can be selected and added to the report directly from the advanced search pane. Electronic Evidence Examiner allows you to generate a special email data review report for email databases. For all reports, you can add a custom header, custom footer, custom logo, as well as a summary and conclusion. In the email data review report, data is displayed in the same structure as in the original database. For each folder, there are two pages, a message list page, which contains the brief list of the messages included in the report, and a messages page which contains the full email message. As with email databases, internet browser data can be either investigated as separate evidence, or as embedded evidence, which can be accessed from the data triage node. Browsers, like Edge or Google Chrome, might contain multiple user profiles with different activity inside each profile. In the Profile List Grid, you can see the list of all detected profiles and information about each of them. Data parsed from each profile includes different browser information. The History Grid includes the list of pages visited by the user. The Logins Grid contains the list of saved logins. More information can be found in other grids like Downloads, Bookmarks, etc. Part 3. Cloud Collection Data from cloud-based sources can be collected either via the Cloud Import Wizard, or the Remote Cloud Collection application. Remote Cloud Collection can be useful, if one of the investigators is in contact with the person whose accounts are being investigated, and who can provide the credentials for the accounts. Remote Cloud Collection is started from Electronic Evidence Examiner. In the E3 Remote Cloud Collection Wizard, you can define and review the collection parameters. The credentials collection is performed remotely via the E3 Cloud Credentials Collector, opened on a smartphone, tablet or laptop. The progress of credentials collection is displayed in the E3 Remote Cloud Collection Wizard. When all credentials are collected, the import starts automatically. Data collected from the cloud sources are added to the E3 data case file, and can be viewed there. The amount of collected data, and its structure, depends on the selected data source. Part 4. Mobile Data. Electronic Evidence Examiner allows you to analyze data acquired from more than 10,000 mobile devices, of different manufacturers. Among the most popular devices are Android and iOS-based smartphones and tablets. Data acquired from these devices are stored in E3 data case files which can be added as evidence for investigation. 
E3 data cases include data of several types. Parsed data is displayed as grids. For example, the user activity timeline allows you to analyze the activity of the Android device user. The install application list includes a full list of applications installed on the device. Data might be in English or any other language, for example, Spanish, depending on who used the device. Data from the most popular applications is parsed to make investigation easier. For example, you can preview the WhatsApp chats or the list of media uploaded to Instagram. Along with the parsed data, Electronic Evidence Examiner collects the binary file system data. You can preview images and other files in the file document viewers. Electronic Evidence Examiner can generate different types of reports, some specifically designed for displaying mobile data. You can generate a report either for all the data or for certain parts. The report displays all data acquired from the device in a user-friendly format.